Look at that pie right there. Oh my gosh. Look at that Amazon tree boa. Oh, that. Ow! <laughs> ow, 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 I'm gonna get you. Ow! I, I, I... Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I wanted to give you a little update on Toothless before we get started because it's doing so much better. You can see how kind of chunky it's starting to look. Its eyes are brighter than ever. Its tongue is coming out good. It's really inquisitive, which is really good. I still am assist feeding him, but as soon as I put it in his mouth, he takes it down. As a matter of fact, yesterday he took almost a small mouse down, so it's really looking good. Again, we're not out of the woods, but I think that we're turning that corner. I couldn't be more more happy to say that and I hope that the start of your day is absolutely incredible. We actually have a few shipments of snakes today so there's going to be a lot of snake unboxing if you guys like that kind of thing. So what do you say we just jump in this day, push all our problems aside and have a great time for the next 12 or 15 minutes together. Certainly an exciting day when it comes to shipments of reptiles for BHB. This one's actually a really cool shipment. I know exactly what's in it, but I absolutely love them to death. And I think the last time that I got a bunch of piebald ball, ball pythons, I actually said that they were swans, but to be honest with you, there were some more. But these are literally the absolute last ones. But before we get to this, we actually have a bunch of these little monkeys right here. Take a look at that. Oh my gosh. And of course, that's a bunch of little red blood pythons. Oh my gosh, these are absolutely amazing. And baby red blood pythons actually only come around for a couple months a year. So when they're available, you kind of got to get them. These guys are so gorgeous. I mean, just take a look at how cool that animal is. Look at it. It's got almost like a stripe down his back. That thing is awesome. I love these little monkeys for sure. Oh my gosh, I love them. And as they get bigger, they they even get better and better. But these were the ones I was talking about, the very last ones. I remember the last time I opened a bunch of pies, I said, I think these are the last ones of the year. Well, I literally got an email from my buddy that produces a bunch of these and said, literally, these are the last 31 pies that I have. And I said, you know what? I'll take all 31 of them. But just take a look at these things. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely gorgeous. And again, a lot of these seem to be super high white. He had told me that they were all medium to high white ones these guys are absolutely incredible i mean just take a look at this beautiful high white piebald right here Ooh, doggy that thing is gorgeous but there's even more of them these ones actually look like more a little bit mid-white and even a couple low white ones in there but still some stunners this one definitely looks like one of the lowest white pies right here but still unbelievably beautiful oh my god it's gorgeous and look at the orange on this one Oh my gosh, the thing I love about pies is it literally looks like a normal snake that someone just took white paint, just said blam, 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 because out of all of the white snakes, you know, ivories, black eyed, blue eyed, leucistics, all this stuff, there's no doubt that the pies are the whitest of the white. And that's right, even more pies. You have no idea the joy I get from seeing these little monkeys right here. I tell you what, look at how incredible these things are. I never in a million years thought that I'd be holding so many pie balls. You know, when I first started to work with ball pythons, pie Eyeballs weren't even proven genetic yet. So everyone thought like, will it turn out to be a genetic trait? And the fact that now all these years later, I just have 30 of them sitting here is pretty epic. And speaking of epic, look at that pied right there. Oh my gosh, that thing is as white as you could possibly get. Oh my God, that is a true 95%er right there. It's just got pattern on the head and a little bit of pattern on the tip of its tail. And finally, the last bag of pieds right here. Oh my gosh. So that's right, we got 31 of them. I think we had a handful left on the website. So once these are sold out, they're sold out all the way until next year. So, oh my God, this is a great thing. Oh, and by the way, we are having a Black Friday sale. So if you're interested in a pie or anything else, everything will be on sale. So make sure to check out bhbreptiles.com. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and set these 31 pies up. Just got this shipment for my buddy Miguel over at Always Evolving Pythons. Actually, it's a couple snakes for Eric and Mary that he was sending. And then he told me he was actually sending me a surprise. So it should be pretty exciting. Hey guys, guess what? Your snakes yes. are here! Oh my Ready gosh! I've been waiting that long. Right. I'm so excited. All right, let's get into it. Again, I don't know what's in here because I don't even know what you guys are getting, but I certainly didn't know what he was sending me. He said I'd really like it. So uh, I'm pretty excited now because uh, I wasn't expecting to get something out of this ship. So, all right. Holy cow, that's a big knife, dude. Oh, that's a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> all right. What do oh, we got? Not a very sharp one, apparently. Let's see what we got here. Oh, man, he gave me a little bit of an idea. Kept saying, oh yeah, yeah. All right, All right what's so this what one here? Have? 
A gangster snake for gangster Eric. I mean, that's me. I'm All the right, only gangster I know. <gasps> Ooh. What is it? What? A Whoa, retic. a nice retic. I love retic. I did, did you know he was sending you a retic? He did say he was sending me one. I wasn't oh too sure God, if he was serious or not. Is oh, that just a lavender yeah, albino? Yeah, I think it's just a lavender albino male. Oh my gosh, so, awesome, Freaking A, awesome. <laughs> Miguel, what do you got a retic for? You, yeah, you just keep ball pythons and stuff like that. He actually has some other animals too, but uh, but I didn't know he had a retic. That is funny. I think there's one more in here. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh. What? Really Are you being dramatic? Whoa, that's a Beautiful. nice one. Look at that Amazon tree boa. Whoa, that. Ow! <laughs> These make great pets, Miguel. Thank you. Oh my, that is a dude. nice one, dude. Yeah, that's Look beautiful. at the color on that. That's a nice one. Wow, that wow. is a nice Amazon tree boa. That's as good as it gets right there. Holy smokes, man. Wow. That is awesome. Wow, Miguel, I'm a little bit mad at you that you sent the, these guys. Thanks, uh, Miguel. <laughs> this is awesome. That thing is awesome. Okay, is, there's another snake. Oh, All right, I'm so now I've got a special snake for a special man. Love. <laughs> Miguel, you too much. Like I said, guys, I literally have no idea what this is. So here we go. Oh my gosh. Miguel, this is this is really a surprise. You guys are going to trip out. I would have never it? expected <gasps> this. Oh my god! Whoa, oh my god! It's, so it's it's a hypo granite yeah. Burmese python. Oh my gosh! Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! Slow down, buddy. Slow down. It's okay. That is one gorgeous snake. Oh my god, Miguel! I love you, dude. I love. Oh, 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 oh! Uh, ah! ow, 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 I'm getting bit too. Ah, I, I knew it. That was like such a dramatic bite. It was like, what? Thanks, Miguel. Thanks for the bite. No, this is freaking awesome. You're getting bit too? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, I bit my belly. <laughs> it bit your belly? <laughs> Miguel, seriously, I love Burmese pythons and I love granite Burmese and I've never owned one of the hypo granites before. Oh my God, this thing is freaking awesome. Miguel, thank you so much. As always, guys, I'm going to put the link in the description to Miguel's channel. There's a little guy's taking, he's looking at me. I'm going to put a link in the description to Miguel's channel and all his stuff. Thank you so much, dude. This is freaking awesome. Oh my God, are you guys excited? Yes, man. That thing is all. Oh, these are all so cool. Oh, are really cool man but <laughs> that thing is insane that hypo granite oh, oh my gosh. gosh i'm excited thank you miguel well, it seems like everyone's on the unboxing bandwagon so i figured why not join i have a shipment of corn snakes that i got that i will share with you and see what we got okay number one looks like a thanksgiving party nice doesn't that make you happy? Kind of festive. But let's see what we have here. Okay, got some more festivities going on in here. It's kind of hard to see through all of the stuff, so I'll show you. But uh, it looks like there's a mix of tesseracorns. Uh, there's some normals like these guys, some albinos in there. Got a really pretty, gotta make sure I don't have anything in here. Aneuthristic tessera. Looks like I'm pulling a Brian and stuff's getting out all over the place but looks like we've got a pretty good mix of corns going on in here. I mean, I'm pretty happy. These guys look great. They look like they've had several meals in them, which I always like to see. And yeah, get these set up and get a few meals into them here and they'll be on the site soon. Not to be a Debbie Downer to bring things down a little bit, but I did want to have a little bit of serious time with you guys for a minute. You know, it's been about three months since we opened the Reptarium. It's been absolutely amazing. The support that you guys and everyone have showed me has been absolutely incredible. But I will say this, I predicted a couple things when I opened up because as humans, we seem to always try to focus on negatives. And I said, I think the two things that people will probably eventually complain about after they get over the kind of newness of like, oh my God, the Reptarium's awesome, is one that we overhandle our animals. Or let people handle them too much. And I've kind of addressed that in the past with the way that we're always kind of keeping an eye on animals, the way they eat, the way they act. We actually sometimes will put animals up and say they're not being handled today or this weekend. We really keep on it. So I think that we've addressed that situation. But the latest situation I've heard a couple people say is, why do you let people go into Bella's cage? Because Bella could potentially get sick or something like that. And of course we really do. Sometimes we let kids go in there and actually pet Bella. Now let me tell you, I am far more concerned about people potentially 
getting some kind of an issue with salmonella or something else from not just Bella, but any of my reptiles, then I am worried about people actually bringing something into Bella's cage. Now, let me just say, I'm not sure what people can bring into Bella's cage. I mean, I'm unaware of any human pathogens that could be transferred and hurt Bella. Let me know in the comments if you guys know something that I don't know. And I'm not trying to point the finger and say you're bad or anything like that. I want to have a conversation with you guys. If I'm doing something that is harming potentially my animals or people, I want to know. I don't want either one of those situations to happen. But my point is, again, human nature just seems to want to migrate to negativity and think like, oh my God, there's something wrong with what he's doing, rather than just saying like, wow, what he's doing is amazing. And that's not to say that I don't have to continue to be careful of what I'm doing. What I'm trying to say is that whether you sit here and just pet Bella right here, or you actually go into her cage, I don't think that there's anything that's going on. I don't think anyone's going to be bringing something in on their shoes or something else that's going to eventually hurt Bella. With that said, I love my Bella and I love all of my animals and I want to make sure to be completely safe with everyone. But like I said, I'm actually far more concerned about humans having issues and that's why I'm always preaching wash your hands, safe hygiene, all of that type of stuff. Again, it would be very rare for something to happen, but it's something that I got to keep an eye on because I don't ever want anybody to leave here and not have anything but an amazing experience. But as for now, guys, just buckle up and just enjoy the ride. You don't have to focus on negative stuff. Let's focus on the positive is what we're doing. I just thought I would address this just so we could put this issue to bed. But again, let me know in the comments. I want to know what you guys think about this. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. We got some amazing animals. Today we had a great time. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which animals you thought were awesome or whatever that we unboxed. You know, one of the things I haven't done in a while, and I'm going to end the vlog by doing this, is just kind of walk around with the lights out. You guys know that I love that, and I just love the way the zoo feels. I guess it's been a little while. So why don't we go ahead and end the vlog with a little tour walking around, and I can absolutely wish you guys an amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support means the world to me, and I truly, truly, truly do love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Make sure to leave that comment down below because I want to read about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone today, and I promise I will see you tomorrow.